you feel hurt, pain, suffering, you done went through a tragic situation, something traumatic, all of a sudden now, from that point, people got to got to get it right. Some got to change, some got to straighten your mind frame. So I don't know like what to really start this this segment other than the place of trying to figure out, you know, as a man, what offense you think that we pay for that that uh other men have done to women in relationships. So if you could say one thing that you you could think of that come to your mind first when you think of something all men seem to have to pay for when it comes to things other men did before them or just a generalization generalization of men, now we got to you know, we got to work uphill from that point. Yeah. I think I think I think uh one of the key things that most women um Scott, what's going on? Um Mm-hmm. What's coming out tonight? Um, is uh, guys not being honest up front? I think mm-hmm. people pay for that. I think men, I think men pay a lot for guys not being honest up front. Meaning, some guys just don't know how to tell the truth yet. Don't know how to say. <laughs> don't know how to say like what he don't like, what he do like. You know, I mean, some stuff we don't talk about, but right. it's just so. And then all of a sudden. You know, she overhear a conversation, check his phone. You know, something would come out, mm-hmm. and he'd be like, oh, you know, like the killer bride, you should have told me. Right, right. And then he didn't tell her, and then now she questioning everything the next guy say. It don't necessarily be about cheating. It just be, it's hard to trust what somebody say mm-hmm. when I know that the last guy lied. Right. I think that's way more than the cheating. I think Negroes pay from other Negroes just not telling the truth. Okay. I can take that. I can you know what I mean? Right. I, I just think that, man... Yeah, we losing. Yeah, we losing. Cause I mean, she women so skeptical of everything you say. You can right, right. you can say something nice. She's like, ah, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I know what you yeah, mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, nah, well, you, that's something you tell everybody. Like, okay, right, like, okay, right, I'm right. Sure you told that to a thousand girls. Right, right, right. I don't know what a man can say to a woman that's really going like win her over because I think she done heard it all. She mm-hmm. just feel like you know, and I think men pay for that. Men might like, genuinely like, you know, I think you look nice like that. Right, I know you want to go. I, you know, I know what you want tonight. You know, what I mean? like, you know what I mean? like, it's like I don't know. I just think, man, you know. Yeah. So. Shout out to Val. Let's tune in right now. Tune in, locked in. What do you think, Facebook? What's an offense, ladies, fellas, everybody that's kind of falling in? Fellas, right tune now. Cause we can get offended. If you could feel like it was one thing, fellas, that you think all men pay for, even ladies, what you think? Want something that all men pay for as a result of sudden something that men did before that guy got right. there. Now he paying the price. You know, I, I don't know. Like, or I, women. Right. I was going to ask that same question. Because, listen. That was that I'm going to Women pay a price, too, mm-hmm. for some stuff that other women have done. Yeah. I for mean, me, I'm thinking, like, listen, that mindset of being irreplaceable. Like, everybody singing that Beyonce in the back of their head, you must not know why I'm irreplaceable. Right? And it'd be over. I get another you in a minute. Right. You cannot get another me. You are not <laughs> Beyonce. But my thing is that sometimes that's, that mindset comes from something that that's silly. That's foolish. That don't make no sense. And it just be like you don't know about like I, like you know what I mean. You yeah. just cop, cop a little attitude, yeah. and you got this. You don't know about me. Irreplaceable spirit over yeah. your life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It's, yeah. What you say is over me. Yeah, <laughs> over my life. Absolutely. Um, Shout out to Sierra. Um, um, I think the biggest thing for a man is I hate to say it, women. If 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 you meet a man and it's bad for you, I mean you paying for it because if a lot of other women. Had sex with him fast. Mm-hmm. You gonna pay the cost of that? Meaning like what? Like what? Now he looking at you like. All right, come on. This was. I mean, like uh, I've heard women, that. even as me as a pastor, that said pastors like I hate going out with him, but I love going out with him because I feel like what's next before like we can only go out to eat some times before they be like come to the hive, Netflix mm-hmm. chill. Like right. she feel like it's time to start touching and getting intimate, and you know I don't want to do that, and. But the guy like, come on, what's up? Like, come on, we grown. Like, that's he, what he really saying is you got to pay. Right. All the other girls do this. Every other lady, come on, now we've been three, four. Come on, I met the Come on, after about the fourth, fifth date, it's time to do some what in house stuff. Right, right. And, and I'm saying when other women are doing it, the next women you pay for it. And a lot of women out here, I know grown women at 40, 35 years old, saying, man, I ain't never been no chick that can't take pictures of myself. Mm-hmm. And, and, and women doing it. Right, right. You got to pay. Generation done. It ain't about no, you know what I'm saying, Texas. It, it is Texas. Show me something tonight. Like, they talking like this. Like, and we grown. Right, like that. Like, again, then they throw that out there. 
We grown like we grown. Man, like what you acting like that? Like it ain't nothing serious. You Everybody do it. And now yeah. you got to pay because guess what? It just Everybody sending the pictures. Everybody sending pictures. Yeah. Man want a picture in his phone now. Right. That's right. that's. I mean, I think women have to pay for that. That's a big deal. Yeah, that's a big, and that's good because like that that ain't something that in our generation as far as mm-hmm. coming up you nah, have to deal with that. No, 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 no. One no. I missed that whole world, but now. Mm-hmm. Grown men be like, I'm like, what you got on today? Now it used to be phone sex, or you talking to them? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. talking. What you, what you got? On, what you got yeah, on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But now you you got to visualize in your mind back in the day. You yeah. had to pick up your. So own. what you got? Are you are you laying on that okay. couch? Right? Yeah. Are oh, you thinking? Nice. And let me think. You know what I'm saying, take a what you got on. Man, listen. I done, I remember one time I was at work. I'm gonna tell you this story, man. <laughs> and I grabbed this this lady phone. She had a huge phone, one of these big tablet looking phones, right? So I'm like, dang, that's a big phone. Let me see that. Da, da, da. Right. Now when I grabbed it, my thumb accidentally touched her gallery. Why she didn't do know. That? Uh, I was just like, I was, hey, this a big phone. Da, da, da. What is this? Right, yeah, that guy, uh, but uh, and before you know it, uh, 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 you busy. Uh, like straight <laughs> chicken wing, wild, right. you know what I'm saying? All this. So I'm like, man, you're right. It's a new spirit. But I, I think it is something to say that as men, we all got to pay for something. Yeah. And women, you got to pay for something. I think that is good that what you were saying as far as. You know, nowadays the climate is, man, listen, what 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 we doing? Like why are we making all of these concessions for each other if we ain't gonna yeah. you know, we ain't gonna be together physically, you know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah, yeah. before anything, we need to figure out what this what this hitting on. Yeah. You know what nah, I'm saying? Nah, and nah. there's women like that too, nah. Cause yeah. I ain't gonna say yeah. it's all men. Yeah. Cause you got women that look, I know what I wanted That's when I saw him, like women know just as quick as men, blah 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 blah. And all of a sudden, it's like a cop out for you to just step out, step out on faith. Yeah. <laughs> let me see what. Uh, let me see. Scott Larock Jordan says, uh, uh, without a doubt, it's so many single women that are scorned and have built walls uh, around them due to previous flaws of another man. Therefore, us good Negroes have so much to prove off rip. So no question. Us, all your flaws up front <coughs> isn't always a good thing. And I said, I, you know what? And women talk about... That's my point. You ain't going to get it all off rip no more. And women have to pay for that. But women always felt like you don't. That's what. Don't ever tell a man what you want or what you want in the make they just going to conform. You know what I mean? So kind of to what to what he's saying, like... But he's, what he's saying is this is one of the reasons why a man got to be so careful in the beginning because everything's so questioned because of that woman, woman scoring kind of attitude where... She's skeptical already. Right. You know what I mean? And so you spend... I feel like the game's set up to lose, though. You talking about, like, it's, it's skeptical and, and all of these questions right up front. But as we talked about in the past weeks, you still expect it to commit right off bat. <laughs> no question. The game is set up to fail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For a man, because, again, how am I supposed to be expected to commit but then have these expectations that I don't know about but I'm still going to be judged by and then you got all of these things that could be, as soon as a red flag come up, I could be cut. It's just worse than, than basketball tryouts. <laughs> you know, you miss one layup, you miss one eat, and all of a sudden you, you cut, cut, you ghosted in this game. I, I, I agree, man. I can't say it, but I don't know. If, ladies, y'all tell me if I'm wrong. Please help me out. I mean, I need to know, can he really tell you all truth? Oh, absolutely. Off rip? What his plans is, what his agenda is, no. you know, Kenny? No. All uh, right, guess what? Is that that lay- like you missed the layup? Like it's, it's over, man. cause it's all it seems like it's all based off vibe. You got some women that be like, listen, you dropping all that on me too 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 quick, too early. Like, listen, like I just want to go with the flow. You got women that's yeah. going with the flow. Yeah, yeah. I, you know, you know what I'm saying? Listen, I, I ain't looking for all of that right like, now. Come on, now, you know what I'm saying? I just want to get out and get out of the house and just have a good time. Like I ain't even trying to hear. You know what I'm saying? You telling her about dreams that listen, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm really digging. You know, I'm thinking like maybe we could just listen. Yeah. Like let's just let's, uh, come on. Let's not let's not go no. there. Come on. I just got our right. son. You know. Maybe you just ain't the guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So when you yeah. breaking down all of this, you know what I'm saying? All of this purpose. But when it come down to it, your question is legitimate. Hey, ladies, be honest. Is the man paying for what the last person did? Are the last relationships right. a combination of it? Right. You know what I mean? He paying for it, man. Without a doubt. Because listen, from everything from the guy that left, you know, a woman with a few kids and now he ain't there in the household, you know, that's something that we can think of so many things that a next guy paying for. Like, <laughs> stepdaddies. Step, you paying reparations, cuz. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? 
Step bad, you step in. My kids been through a lot. Listen. Come on, speak on it. My, my kids been through a lot, and you know, I think it'd be good. You just spend some extra little time here. You got to, you know, like, you got to be different. That little man man has been, like, is, and on, you man. paying for man man. Right, man. Because yo, man, yo, man, my man in the house now. Listen, your placement when, with her depend on how you, you how you set up your payments. How you going in and you going in and showing different from what she has seen and, and ultimately paying for the mistakes that another man made or, you know, where another man dropped the ball, you got to pick that up. So to me, like we we don't talk about it. Of course, maybe my topic or the way I frame it, people might feel like, oh, I understand that. But in almost every relationship, especially with women, the next guy is paying for something that was done in yeah. pain and suffering yeah. or lying or dishonesty, yeah. disloyalty, whatever the case. And do I want to ask? Do you think that it that is it is more so with women having men pay as it as it is men making women pay? I don't know. Or is it kind of like balance? I think I think it's, I think it's an even balance because it is, it is a lot of women out there now doing things in relationships that sometimes not black love, morally black woman sound. Mm-hmm. And then he meet you, saying, "What's up with you? I'm, I'm a Christian. I don't care. The other girls are Christian. Like mm-hmm. now, it's like, like, hey, this man is saying, like, you ain't gonna get my attention." If you don't do what these other ones do, and you got to pay, I'm saying even down to the the picture to the this, there was a time right. that I would have thought, and I don't know if it was like this ten years ago. Ten years ago, I don't know if a man could sit across the table for a woman and say, "So, what do you do?" And uh, like, and almost decide if I want you, depending on what you got going for you, can you be a provider? Mm-hmm. Ten years ago, there wasn't no situation. Now you got women paying for that. Because now a guy say, and my last girl, like, that was never a conversation. It was all like a real man dude. It was like, and my girl, man, she already took care of me, you know what I'm saying? My, my girl did, like, so now, me and throwing back what the last girl did good, and you paying for it. Right, right. It used to be just a man, like, you know, a real man to do this, real man to do this. If you was a real man, if you really care, and she could pay two men other before, sometimes not just bad things went through, but even good dudes. But then, how, I'm saying, listen, it sounds like kind of, how you at the negotiating table with no leverage? How you going to come, if you ask a woman out, and right. you say, hey, listen, I want to take you out, but now you get to the table, and you talk about, hey, well, listen, my last one did this, and so, you know yeah, what I mean, what are you offering? Like, what, what right. are you, know what I mean, just extension, or are you signing right. things, what are we talking about? I think women right. paying for that now. Look at all the women now who's, <laughs> let's be real, think about all the women now who's totally took care of Negroes. Shout out to Kaylee, shout out to Tier. we're going to read these comments. Uh, Think about the person that uh, totally took care of Totally took care of a Negro. Mm-hmm. Like, took care of him. Think about it now. All right, I'm listening. Girl yeah. took care of him. He made another girl like, you know, man, um, so come on, man, where can I come over? Like, I mean, I'm telling you, he she paid for it. I agree, I agree. But yeah. I don't know if it's as much from a pain perspective. So I don't know if men carry the pain the same. So he ain't going into it like as a man scorn and now. He's gonna mistreat this other lady or uh, be real skeptical about mm-hmm. what she say and right. can't trust what she say. Right. So he, that, that he, she's not receiving that way. But I do believe in some form and fashion, she gets looked at with a receiving. She's receiving like a different level of expectation. Yeah, but I don't think the two compare. I believe women can take something that two relationships a guy did, watch TV and see something that's similar, and the guy that's sitting next to her got to pay for that. Yeah. Yeah, and then my thing is that why is it that it, it's almost like these certain things when you say example, you don't learn everything about a person in the first six months. No question, you don't learn everything mm-hmm. about a person in the first year. Sometimes, unless situations arise, you're not gonna learn something about a person in in the first couple years, depending on how things happen, right? Yeah. So, with all that being said, now you feel like boom, I done married you. You know, I'm saying I done made your honest woman. Blah blah blah, right? But still, I done found out it's something that Craig did in '98. That you know, example like okay, just throwing out. Craig used to be he's a gamer. All he did was play game. Now all of a sudden, you want an Xbox for for Christmas? What you like? Like what's wrong? Nah, with like you? that's that's yeah. just so immature. Like yeah. that, that. And then my last boy, one of my boys, I used to hate that. that, that, that. Now I'm just saying something that I or somebody gonna have to pay for due to the fact that in the past. You know what I mean? This is something that was a turn off or it was something that just rubbed you the wrong way. Because, now, I can't live my life. (laughs) 
Oh, I want to read what Tierra says. Tierra, man, Tierra, man, keeping it 100. It all depends off his motive. Sometimes they may drop some sad story to get a feel, so, uh, get you to feel sorry for them to get what they want, i.e., sex, money, place to go when they when other chick don't come through. Hmm, that's I, I I agree with that. I I'll take that. But take that but Scott come, Scott come back Scott, Scott come back and say that um, Scott say women and men have to realize that no nobody's the same. But if you choose the same type of man or woman. You're liable to get the same results. All men are dogs. No, all women are blank dog catchers. Right, right. right. Dog right. No, they're not. It's only, so all I'm saying is that it's true. I mean, the reason why sometimes you get in the same kind of repay because you liking the same things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, some like what he said is it's is, is, is kind of true. Hey, I'm paying for something that I keep liking. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, because yeah. every man. Ain't the same. Every woman ain't the same. But I, I just, I just, I'm just gonna be real. I don't know if women. I'm gonna be honest. And it might be true for men too. But I don't know if women heal from the hurt and then go into a relationship. They hey, just, why you be taking my questions right off my page? Oh, uh, uh, no, no, you know I'm saying. Wondering, wondering, but I'm no, wondering. definitely, yeah. You yeah, right. I, I just don't know if, like, man, the reason why you're carrying it because you still hurt, mm -hmm. and then you just get with the person. Um, uh. For nothing, right? Like, did you get with him to? And we don't like to say it. They all say men like to rebound. But man, come on, man. Right. And what am I? And listen, what do you? You basically answered it. My my thing is that I don't believe. Also, and I agree with you. I don't believe that women truly heal. That's it. Before they go into the next relationship, yeah. people they, like they, they good. This, right. This this it's, it's so many monikers. It's so many slogans and pitch phrases and all of this yeah. that people like to say. But don't ever apply to their own life. You know what I mean? When you talk about self care, take care of yourself, girl, love yourself, love yourself, love, love, the life. You know what I'm saying, so love, you know, self love, yeah. right? All that is good, but nobody is applying it because of, like you said, being on the rebound. Now, if a woman know that hey, she dealing with a guy that did her dirty, and then three months later, however, three weeks later, a guy approach her, a lot of the time she gonna be still skeptical, had that wall up, but at some point she gonna let it down and say, you know what, let me give him a shot. But while that is okay, the hurt that ain't been healed ain't okay. So now he end up paying for all the things that you still ain't dealt with just because you wanted somebody to give you something to take your mind off of whoever else. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me let me play woman's advocate. You help me for a second. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I've been I've been give you some scenario that that women give me as a pastor. shout out to Miss Jackie. Go ahead. Jack was having on. I see other people in a class. I see different. Watch this. So <clears throat> can you be mad if I been? Let's, Take it off relationships. I'd have been in two bad accidents. I got five pins in my knee. When it get cold, my knee, feel it. I got five pins in my knee. I'd have been two bad accidents. And also we get in the car and I ain't going that fast. Mm -hmm. You ride with me like, come on, man, we try to get somewhere, man. Right. At least it's speed limit. At least speed us, man. I don't know how you live because you can't I can't take away from me. I've been in two bad accidents and I just did make it. Mm -hmm. So and are you really paying for it? Is this just a result of some of my experience? Because I don't know if people are trying to make you pay. I don't know if every woman goes into it like, I'm trying to make you pay. It's just, don't be mad at me because I'm cautious. Mm -hmm. Is it a cautious thing? Or is it else, no, you're going to pay for what happened to me. You see what I'm saying? I, I believe. There's a difference. Listen, I, there is a difference. It is a difference. But to me, I think that what, what the problem is, is the silent expectation. Because while most, like I said earlier, you have a lot of women that feel like, hey, listen, don't tell a man what you want, blah, 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 blah. Now, if a guy treated you like trash and you feel like, listen, I'm not going to deal with nobody that's dishonest or disloyal. Well, if you, <laughs> I don't even know that, like that standard, that, that you know what I mean? Because some women ain't. You know what I mean? Some women do let it ride. Some women are like, hey, listen, I already know what's going on. I already know how it's going to be. One woman cheat. Men cheat. Blah, blah, blah. Like, we, we over that. And you got some women like, listen, this is zero tolerance policy, bro. So if you don't know that, if she haven't told you that, you got this expectation. Or it's just whatever. Like if a woman feel like, hey, listen, a man provide. Like show me what you bring to the table. Like, you know what I mean? You're going to take me out there. Show me out of a good time. This ain't going to be no, you know what I mean? I'm put pitching in situation 50-50. Like if you're going to, right? Women have these expectations. A man, like you had, a, you talk about an example, a woman take care of the man. She might look at it like, nah, listen, you ain't got nothing coming, bringing it to the table. Don't even, don't even talk to me. Right. Go ahead and free yourself. You know right. what I'm saying? Like Sister Fantasia. Yeah, yeah. So now a guy might come in with a 50-50 mindset, not knowing 
that hey, listen, she might be a cool female, good woman. Until we get in this situation. Until, until you get into right. this situation. But I, I, I'm still, like I'm saying, I'm still. I need to know. Uh, 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 let's go social media, Facebook. I need to know. Because here's I'm, I'm torn between. Is it he's paying? Because yeah, it happened to me. You paying for it, mm-hmm. or is it hey, man? I'm really not trying to make anybody pay for it. I just can't help what happened to me. Right. You know what I mean? Like it's a difference. Like right now, I, I'm as a as a black pastor, I am trying to be open more to a lot of people who um, churches who didn't think I was about anything, and all of a sudden. At forty, I mean, I'm, I'm, I've been in the game. I don't say game. That's all. This is mm-hmm. non theologically correct, but I've been doing it a while. Now, saying, man, we always knew who was great, and I got side me saying, man, don't, don't look for me to trust people because right. you hated me. Right. You weren't there. You, yeah, you, you, not you were there. You were there, you right. you you but gym. you didn't want me. Right. You know, back then they didn't want me. Now, how you all right. alone? Right. So I'm saying, is a woman really saying, man, I am trying to heal. So you almost saying it from a devil's advocate. You saying soon as she meet a dude, she always saying, "Now I'm telling you now, I'm leaking over here. I bandaged it up now." Right. I mean, she don't know him to be like that. Oh, real. Right. And my question is, can a woman heal while being in a relationship still? I I don't know. I think so. I think Facebook. She, face, good question. Facebook. Women, Instagram. are you healing for real? <laughs> are you in a relationship? In a relationship. Right. I think if she tell the dude and he's willing to be up for a challenge. I just don't like. I'm with you with that whole, you know. You mad and I don't know it. Mm-hmm. Nah. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, y'all keep tuning in, man. We read these comments. And like Jacqueline said, uh, I think uh, that is caution. We just afraid. Okay. Tierra says, uh, it's a reflex response to the past relationship trauma. I can uh, be going really good. Uh, or excuse me. It can be going really good with her and her new boo. And then he does something that triggers a past experience that starts acting different. I, 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 I hate that trigger. This is being... Let it go. Anyway, Kaylee just says, um, I used to think that all men are the same. Can you say right? So, again, I think that a lot of times when women get in a relationship, they haven't healed, all right? And they haven't really expressed what happened in the past relationship that had them at, you know, at odds or in a certain type of mind frame. So now you just get into it and you go with the flow spirit until something happens and then it triggers, like, like Tierra said, you got something that triggers. All of a sudden, now you acting funny. Now you don't want to pick up. Now you don't want to call back. Now all of this because he did something. He don't even know what he did. Right, right. I don't know. I don't know. I just I don't know, man. Cause cause if I do that, if ladies, if we agree with this, and we and we and we walk down this mile, and we and we say okay, we understand mm-hmm. how you feel. Then you gotta be able to buy the man side too. Right. Which means, hey, I've been affected by females who are always skeptical. So guess what? Oh, not, not, want something for me, a man. Like right. That. So now my approach and my attitude and this this disposition on the man now, because I'm tired of trying to prove myself to females. Mm-hmm. So now you finna wear it, right? <laughs> because I ain't going through all that. You know, I ain't all that. Like, like right. now I have to approach it different because since you so skeptical, guess what? Now you go. You finna get a guy who's tired of trying to prove himself. You prove yourself, right? You know what I mean? And you got some guy like, hey, listen, man, I've always been a good provider, whatever, whatever. Now, I just need to know that somebody truly there for me, and I need to be able to, to sense that, to feel that. And if, if I don't know that, then I ain't going to be able to I ain't gonna be able to do it. Right. I just think hurt people hurt people. So, you're hurting. Right. There's no way with all the, the ain't no dinner, ain't no dinner But day. everybody want to be loved. Yeah, but now when you're hurting... Everybody want to be loved when they hurt. That's why I ask a question. Can a woman heal while she's in a relationship? I just I don't think you can love back when you're hurting. Man. You just a wanter. What you said? I just want to be loved. Yes, I'm hurting. Right. And I want to be I'm just saying, but if you don't say that in the beginning, that man, I'm hurting. So I don't tell you now. Don't look a whole lot for me to give you back nothing. Right. I'm hurting. I, I think that's respectful. I can respect. But I just don't think nobody's gonna say that off real. What you see, Carolyn said, I can believe me, Tom. Uh, oh, we need time to heal before starting a new relationship. That's what I, I believe that. Like, just take some time. Let me see. Kaylee should say, I'm trying to heal. I'm um, being honest. Uh, I have a boyfriend. It's hard. You know what I'm saying? So even in relationships, I'm just saying that it, we, we just get into them because, of course, it soothes that, that pain. Just like, the you know, the neosporin or the Tylenol you take. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, yeah, it, don't, it yeah. don't rid you of that, that feeling. But it just soothes and let the pain subside for a little bit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> right, Jacqueline says, so uh, do you think that you should wait until we heal? Do you think we wait until we heal? I do agree. 
Now, I'm not saying that you can't be in a relationship, if that's what you're saying, not be in a relationship, but if you're not at least knowing in yourself, in your mind, what you need to deal with so that no, you can go forward. I'm all care about hurting in a relationship. Here's my problem with pastor. True story. True, true question. A hundred pastors ask all the world, hey, if church is a place to help people that are hurting, mm -hmm. and we all get hurt bumps in the road every week, every day, right. well, do you let people that are hurting help? Or do you let the people heal first, then try to get them to help? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. And so I say no, it's nothing wrong with the person that's hurting. They can still help others. Sometimes that's what helps them heal faster. No is it helping? Right. And, and, but it but the problem is you gotta say so. That's my yeah, exactly. That's my thing. My thing is just hey, hey, you in a relationship, you hurting, say this. Do the whole thin line through love. Hey, listen, I've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. It wouldn't be good. <laughs> Watch this. She said it. Wouldn't be good if you hurt me. <laughs> Anybody try to hurt you? No, listen. No, listen. No, listen. Seriously. Right, right. Now, see that? Right, right. She telling him, Slow down. I'm hurt now. Slow down. I know baby. you want to jump on it. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good for your health, play. <laughs> right. And guess what? He he even hear the truth. <laughs> That's all Mom had yeah, to do. Yeah, she'll yeah. tell she said, no, 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 listen. She said, no, 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 like, I, I just been hurt a lot. And then he was like, yeah, I love you. And guess, okay. You got that nine millimeter to the crown. Right. Then crawl to the door. Oh, you know and you in the back of the pool. Yeah. I know she's a good crazy. <laughs> <laughs> that thing's a good and crazy boy. Yeah, everybody right, trigger yeah. experience. Right. And, 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 and a man will know, like, hold on, she's telling me this already. In the long run, a man will respect you before you say, guess what? I'm telling you right now, that last relationship cut me good, and I'm still healing from it. Mm hmm. He gonna be like, I don't know. Right, but, right. He gonna, he gonna know. He gonna make a decision. But she, to she, surprise him, she, I think, though, she did heal. Even though he triggered, triggered it. Right.